everyone. In this festive video, I'm going to show you how to create an Instagram post um, with a personalized Christmas greeting. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is set up your canvas by going to File New, choose Social and click on Instagram, press Create, and that's the right size for an Instagram post. Then you need to um, input your, your image. You can go onto websites like Pixabay to find a copyright free image to download. Look for one that would have a nice area for you to write on a path. So this is a nice one with a nice circle. Okay, this isn't so good because there's no way really I can see where I can write on a path. Okay, so find a suitable image. I've found one. It's this one. So I'm going to go to File, Open and Place. Not File, Open, File, Open and Place. I'm going to find my file and it's actually this little guy here. Then I'm gonna click on shift, grab the corners and make it so that he's a, he fits the page. Next thing I'm gonna show you is how to download and install some fonts to use for your Instagram post. So there are lots of different download font download websites. I'm on dafont.com, but there are lots, okay? So if you type in free font downloads, there's loads of different sites. Um, on this one, it does have a Christmas section and there are some Christmas fonts in there that you can use. Okay, but I actually quite like handwritten. So I'm going to use a handwritten one here, a handwritten style of font for my um, Christmassy um, projects. Right, then where it says more options, make sure you click on that and this little section pops up and tick 100% free. So press enter when you've got that. Now it will remove lots of fonts. Now if you're using this for personal use, you don't need to tick that 100% free box. But if you're not, and you're gonna put it out there commercially, then you will need to find one that is free to download. So I'm trying to find a nice Christmas style font. Oh, that's a nice one, Honey Script. And then you click on download. Okay, there it is there, it's gone into my downloads folder. To install it into Photopea is really easy. You just simply go to File and Open. Find it, there it is, Honey Script, and it says it's loading. Now give it a few seconds because sometimes it actually loads a, a picture showing you, like an advertisement showing you what the font looks like. So I'm just waiting for that to happen. Doesn't look like it is for this one, but if that happens, a picture will load and it's just basically a little advert that shows you what that font can do. Just click off it and then you can get back to your canvas that you're working on. Doesn't seem to be doing it for this one though, so that's good. Then down the side here, I'm gonna click on text tool, the type tool, and I'm going to drag that on. I'm going to change my text size up here, 150, let's see what that looks like. Make sure you press enter or it won't change. Click back into the little type box and I'm going to type in my message. Merry Christmas. I need to make it just a little bit bigger. Um, now, that's not the font that I downloaded. That's a different font that I was playing around with, around with before. So I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to go into my font list and I'm going to search for Honey Script. That's the font I've just downloaded and installed. And there it is there. It doesn't look too bad. So I'm going to keep this highlighted and change that font colour by clicking on the font colour box up there. If your colour picker sticks itself on top of your image, just click and drag it out the way. And then you can choose. Can you see there's like a little cross on my cursor now? You can choose a colour from your image. So I could choose one of these greens, these reds. But I'm actually going to choose this on this little sort of lightish colour on his back. So I'm going to click on that, press OK, just click off there to see it. Now it looks like a white colour, but it's actually that colour there that was on his back. So it just makes it totally match. Last thing I'm going to do, and this is the tricky bit, okay, is I'm going to type on a path around the little guy. There's two ways you can do this. Okay, I'm going to show you both ways. I'll show you the harder way first, shall I? The harder way <clears throat> is to create a custom path and you do that by using the pen tool. So I'm going to click on the click and drag in the pen tool here and I'm going to make sure that the free pen is selected. I'm then going to check that I have set it to path because it will, have, it will default to shape. So set it to path. It will also default to a colour. So make sure that you set it to be no fill. Make sure the stroke is no fill. 
So when it's path, no fill, no fill, and you're on the free pen, you're, you're good to go. So I've chosen the free pen, I've changed it to path, no fill, no fill, I can now draw my path. So I'm going to just click and then drag quite a free flowing shape around this little guy here. And I'm going to stop there. Okay, and you can see that that's created a path. Then I can type on that path very easily by clicking on my type tool and I can click on the path and I can type on it. But before I do, and this is important because you can change these settings later, but it's just a bit more of a faff to do them afterwards. Before I do, I'm going to change the um, size. I'm going to make it much smaller. I'm going to make it 50. Press enter. Depending on how big yours is, you might need to change or tweak your sizing. Then I'm going to click back on the path again, uh, the text tool again, and go down to the path and click on it. And you'll notice that the cursor goes on an angle on the path. I'm now going to press Control and V. Because I've got a, a piece of text that I have copied from this website, which is the Random Christmas Wishes and Greeting Generator website. And it generates these cool little random Christmas greetings. And I'm going to, I've copied one that I've used. Now I've pressed Control and V. Now you can't see it there. It's not, it's not visible. And that's because when I wrote my path, drew my path, it's drawn it below my picture. So in my, in my layers panel here, I need to drag that layer above and you can see that the text now becomes visible. The second way to type on a path, and this is a little bit easier, I'm gonna delete that one. I'm going to use my ellipse tool, my ellipse tool. So I'm gonna click and drag, usually it's defaulted to a rectangle. I'm gonna click and drag and choose ellipse. And then I'm going to up here again, make sure that I've changed this to a path, make sure that the fill is no fill and the stroke is no stroke. And then I'm going to click and drag on my circular path, get my text tool open, make sure that it's set to a decent size, then click on the path, press Control and V. There's my uh, Christmas greeting, okay? And I can make that a bit bigger. Click on that. So I've got my text tool selected. Make that a tiny bit bigger for this one. Maybe 40. Nope, it's too big that. 30. Okay. There we have it. That looks better actually. A cute little Instagram worthy post. Final thing to do is file export as a JPEG. Press save and it'll go in your downloads folder and it'll be there for you to share. Happy Christmas everybody!